What's up guys, this is how you motion track in one minute. Before you motion track, the first thing you want to do is pre-compose. So we're going to right click, pre-compose, go into that pre-composition, trim it up, shorten it, you're going to right click, track, go to track camera. Once that's done, make sure you clicked on the effect and you can see all the tracking points. You'll see there's different colors of tracking points, the ones we want are the green ones. If you don't want to select just one spot, you can highlight a bunch of these. Then we're going to go over here and create camera. Now that your camera's made, let's make a text file. Go to layer, new, text. Now that you have your text, let's do a 3D layer by going over here, clicking right here to this little cube. You'll notice it's a little bit off, but we can just adjust it. You can either select these values or you can go down here and change these. Let's open this up and look at all our transform values. The first thing we're going to move is our position. We need the Z coordinate to be back here. Once you move it back there, you can increase the scale. I want this track to be right above the car, so I'm going to keep adjusting. That's about perfect. So next, I want to rotate it to how I want. You can add effects to this text if you want. A simple way to doing this is by opening this, go to animate, and you can select fill color. This, we're going to change it from white to match the car. So we're going to keyframe fill color, scroll down, we're going to select the car. Now we can go back to our main composition, and it's done.